in an emergency briefing 3, why Atlas is now predicted to be on a catastrophic collision course with Mars. The confirmation comes after weeks of chaotic observations, shifting trajectories, and mounting concern among planetary scientists. This is unlike anything humanity has faced before. An interstellar intruder hurtling through our solar system, now threatening a planet already frozen, scarred and brimming with human ambition. The first inklings of trouble emerged when both NASA's deep space tracking networks and Harvard astrophysicists detected subtle but unmistakable deviations from 3i Atlas's earlier predicted path. Originally charted to sweep harmlessly past Mars, the object's orbit began to curve inward, bending toward the red planet with growing intensity. The two institutions converged on a shared conclusion. Momentary anomalies had compounded into a realignment that now places Mars directly in the crosshairs. At astounding speed and with minimal margin for correction, the interstellar visitor is on a collision trajectory whose consequences could remake the Martian environment in an instant. The nature of 3i Atlas amplifies the dread. This is not a simple rock or piece of cosmic debris. It is a fully active interstellar comet, exhibiting a diffuse coma of gas and dust, an evolving tail and volatile behavior. As it nears the sun, its outgassing intensifies. Jets of material erupt unpredictably, altering both brightness and momentum. Each such eruption acts like a micro-thruster, nudging its direction subtly but cumulatively enough to produce dramatic course changes. What began as a close pass has become a drawn line of impending disaster. By the time the emergency briefing was delivered, trajectory projections showed a high-probability intersection window with Mars in late October. At that stage, the object would be deep in the inner solar system, too close for safe intervention from Earth and too fast for conventional deflection efforts. Harvard researchers disclosed that as 3i Atlas approaches perihelion, the forces on its surface, solar heating, volatile outgassing, and solar radiation pressure would reach peaks, maximizing the chances of unexpected structural shifts or fragmenting events. Any fracture or explosion could scatter debris with deadly precision toward Mars, complicating the looming calamity. The briefing painted a grim picture. Should 3i Atlas impact Mars, the kinetic energy released would dwarf anything the red planet has ever known in recorded history. At velocities exceeding tens of kilometers per second, even a modest nucleus fragment could deliver energy comparable to large thermonuclear blasts. The plume of vaporized terrain, shock waves, and ejector would rip through the thin Martian atmosphere, obliterating surface structures, any existing outposts or installations, and possibly send dust clouds into Martian orbit. Such an impact could reshape valleys, collapse ridges, and alter atmospheric circulation on a massive scale. The scientific implications are staggering. For decades, Mars has been the focus of humanity's ambition, terraforming dreams, colonization, resource extraction, and the search for microbial remnants of life. All of that now faces an existential gamble. A collision with 3 Pi Atlas would not merely devastate a few outposts. It could cascade into system-wide consequences. Satellite networks in orbit would be endangered. An impact could disturb the planet's delicate climate balance, hurling dust into the upper layers and blocking sunlight, possibly triggering extended winters across its hemispheres. The delicate balance of robotics, human presence, and future missions would hang in the balance. For geologists and planetary scientists, the event would be an unparalleled natural experiment if one could survive long enough to observe it. The impact zone would essentially become a natural excavation, exposing subsurface strata, revealing ice layers, buried minerals, and perhaps even frozen pockets of ancient organic compounds. Yet the promise of knowledge would come at a terrible price. Sacrificial ground, irreparably altered surfaces, and, in the worst case, total obliteration of carefully established research stations. The timing of volcanic or tectonic responses, if any exist on Mars, might be triggered, setting off chains of unpredictable secondary events. Astrobiologists now face one of their harshest dilemmas. If Mars harbors any dormant or extant microbial life, even confined underground, the seismic shock, heat and chemical onslaught could extinguish delicate biospheres. Alternatively, life-bearing subsurface niches might be exposed or mobilized, 
only to be sterilized by radiation or the impact's brutality. In either case, the opportunity to detect ancient microbial DNA or biomarkers might be lost, either through destruction or contamination. All existing sample caches and experiment modules are at grave risk. Another dimension lies in the politics and international coordination that this scenario demands. Multiple nations and space agencies must mobilize contingency planning, real-time observation campaigns and emergency missions, if any feasible ones remain. The briefing highlighted that no single agency controls the response. Asset contributions from ISA, Roscosmos, CNSA, JAXA, ISRO and emerging private space firms will be essential. Assets in Martian orbit or en route elsewhere might be repurposed or retasked. Coordination will strain communication protocols, priority hierarchies, and even interplanetary law as the race to avert or mitigate impact intensifies. Technically, intervention seems almost impossible. Deflection efforts that might work against Earth-bound asteroids cannot scale to this scenario. The distance from Earth at the time of impact is too vast, and 3i Atlas's speed too high. A kinetic impactor or nuclear device launched from Earth would require prohibitive delta V and energy. Even a Mars-based intervention might arrive too late. The briefing admitted that the window for any meaningful corrective action likely closed weeks ago. Now the focus has shifted to observing, modeling and perhaps preparing protective measures for Martian infrastructure. One of the more chilling insights is the possibility of fragmentation. If 3i Atlas breaks apart under solar stress or collisions, multiple sub-projectiles could follow diverging paths. Rather than one large strike, Mars might be pelted with several high-speed fragments, hitting in different locations simultaneously or in rapid succession. The accumulated damage would be multiplied, undermining rescue or evacuation planning and scattering the center of impact across wide swaths of terrain. The unpredictability of fragment trajectories would hamper predictive modeling, making mitigation virtually impossible. The briefing emphasized the immediacy of the threat. Time is slipping away, and as 3i Atlas accelerates toward perihelion, its behavior will become more erratic. Soon it may pass within electromagnetic influence zones. Solar wind currents may nudge it, and unpredictable interactions with solar radiation might shift its path. Each passing day increases the uncertainty in the collision prediction. Observations made today may already be obsolete tomorrow. The briefing warned that we are entering the danger zone. Every fraction of deviation now has exponential consequences. The human dimension of this crisis cannot be understated. In Martian colonies, if any full-scale habitation or semi-permanent bases exist, evacuation would become a priority. The mere announcement triggers panic. Resources, life support, crew safety and trauma all surge into focus. Engineers, mission controllers and astronauts may face the hardest decisions, staying to collect data until the last minute or abandoning posts and losing invaluable equipment. Public communications will need to balance transparency and the prevention of panic across Earth, where billions will watch and wait. The event also carries deep symbolic weight. Mars has long stood as humanity's future frontier, a stepping stone to further worlds, a mirror to Earth's past, perhaps even a second home. To see that ambition threatened by an object from beyond our solar system is a cosmic reversal of fortune. It reminds us that even as our technology advances, we remain vulnerable to forces outside our design. The collision would proclaim that no boundary we draw is safe. Even the planets we aspire to colonize are subject to the whims of the universe,